Okay, so we're looking at bar charts in R. Now, bar charts are used when we have categorical variables and um, we want to, uh, we can use it in various scenarios. So let's think, um, we can use it in a straight case where we want to plot the frequencies, either the number of occurrences um, of each of these categorical variables that we see. Um, we'll see it in regression where we have some categorical variables and we want to plot some feature of the dependent variable across those categorical variables such as the mean um, so let's just think about apply, uh, applications so in regression you might see it okay um, ANOVA, ANOVA involves categorical variables so you, s you, you could use it in um, ANOVA analysis um, cross tabs uh, otherwise known as contingency tables, cross tabs, that they involve categorical variables so we could use bar charts there as well. Now on the menu you saw that I'm going to present um, a few types of bar charts, right? Um, now in the con for, the, for, for, for the example let's just look at this data that I've been actually I just made a video with this, that's why I'm doing this. Um, it, I did um, a Poisson regression in the previous video, a really long video, right? so I might as well do this one. Um, because in that video I finished off uh, by presenting a bar chart. Okay, and here's the data. Uh, we have um, the dependent variable is like cell uh, counts of um, counts of infected cells in a, on, a, on a microscope slide, and then we've got these categorical variables. So the first thing we might want to do is we might want to look at a simple bar chart of just number of occurrences, a frequency chart basically of one of the variables. So let's say I want to do cells, I want to plot um, a bar chart of cells. So I create a table first, let's have a look at this count and this is what we have. So number of no number of infected cells, um, 314 slides, uh, pick another number, 5. Um, 5 um, and 5 being the number of infected cells, 13 slides had that. Okay, so can we kind of represent all this in a bar chart? Okay, so you bet. So we go, we use the bar chart command, a bar plot command. Now I'm going to just do really plain vanilla, so f making it fancy with colors and labels comes later, alright? So we just go bar, bar, bar plot and then just put in the table thing, the kind of object being the table here. This is what we have. Okay, so this matches up. So non 314, that's the frequency, 175, and so on. Just to say that we could get this such a plot of a hist command, a histogram, although it's not really what we've got, it's not continuous, so it's not histogram. But let's see what happens if we try to do that. Let's create a different window so that, oops, oh, it's case sensitive. Remember, R is case sensitive. Okay, windows, create a new window so we can compare the two graphs, really useful. Command that. And then let's look at, let's just call up the histogram for this thing. Right, now let's put the two side by side. Right, and here you are. So you can see pretty much they give you the same thing. This one is from the histogram command and this one is from the bar chart command. So in each case you're looking at the frequency on the vertical axis and then just the number of cells along the horizontal axis. Okay, that's the first type. Next type, I want to look at uh, frequencies of frequency plot of a number of, not just one, but a number of categorical variables. For this example, let's look at let's look at two of them. So I pull out two of the variables there, smoker and weight, which are both categorical. Here is the cell count. Well, let's just do that again. But up here, okay, so you can see it. Okay, so 141, 141 it says that there's 141 sli um, slides which correspond to. I uh, better tell you what these factors are. This factor here is weight, right? So it's categorical as normal weight, obese, and overweight. Here's smoker, no smoker is a smoker. So 141 of those from the sample, of the, uh, those slides belong to people who are normal weight and uh, non-smoker, for example. We want to kind of plot this on, on, a, on a bar chart. 
and if you look at this you know it could be this could be something like you could do a um a contingency or cross tabs analysis on this because you've got counts here and you've got two factors yeah um test for this association between weight and smoking or something like that and then this would be corresponding plot so what you do is you go bar plot and everything in there so what goes in there is the table of values and what you have here is what I call a stacked uh, bar plot because uh, as the name suggests for example normal see 141 non-smokers so this up to here is 141 and then you've got 61 who are normal 63 people who are normal weight and are smokers so that adds on so that's why this on top of this that's why it's called stacked all right again the colors and the labels that can come later but so so long as you can see what's going on so there's six cells in total and there are six blocks one two three four five six okay now the thing is you might not like stacks you might want these things beside each other in which case you want a grouped a grouped um, bar plot so how you do that is you go beside because you want those bars beside and say true there so now instead of stacked on one, one top of each other you can see depends on what you like really I th I prefer I don't know what you prefer but I prefer um, this a grouped one so the normal that's 141 and then normal and uh, and, uh, and smoker 63 people there you go so quite clear you can compare 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 the other one you could compare as well but anyway this one hits the eye more striking okay and then let's see final type is one we might use in regression 